Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me for today's video. And today is my latest edition of No Buy, Low Buy, or Go Buy. This is a video series that I like to do on my channel that is similar to Samantha March's Will I Buy It? Only I talk specifically about eyeshadow palettes and whether or not I would no buy, low buy, or go buy that palette. So this is just my spin on it. Hope you guys will enjoy. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. And in this channel, we obviously talk about eyeshadow palettes as this video would indicate right here. It's my favorite topic of conversation. It's my favorite aspect of makeup application. So I love talking about eyeshadow palettes. I also enjoy talking about drugstore makeup. And I love talking about having using what you own and loving what you have in your makeup collection so you don't need to buy all the new releases. So these are the new releases and we're going to talk about them today. So let me scooch off to the side because I have a lot of things to talk about. So the first palette we're going to talk about is the Ofra Cosmetics Empowered Palette. It's a five pan palette. This is what it looks like. It's $32 and um, it is available now. But if you go to Ofra site and you get it from Ofra site, if you use the code BFF2020, so BFF in caps, 2020, you can save 35% on this palette. So if this is palette is something that speaks to you, maybe you might be interested in getting it. But for me personally, um, although I think it's pretty, I'm thinking to myself, it's just five colors and there happen to be five colors in there that I can kind of duplicate in my own collection. Um, and for some reason with me and Ofra, I just have never been super captivated by their eyeshadow. Um, eyeshadows, the, one that's, the ones that they have to offer in their little five pan palettes. Not that they're not good quality, because I have no way to know if they're good quality or not. I just do not have any of them. But this one is probably the most interesting color story that they've done, in my personal opinion, for their five pan palettes. It's got the highlight shade in the middle. I don't even know what highlight shade that is but you know you can always use highlights on your eyes you could probably use that on your face as well if that's something you're interested in but of course I love that deep khaki green on the end um, and it's got kind of a chartreuse shade in there but as you can see I already have a deep green that's on my lids right now this is the Sigma Untamed palette I really really like it and um, I did just order the um, Shroud Cosmetics and Beat Bean collaboration it's freaking bats and so I'm going to have a chartreuse in there. So this is not something that I need. So um, that being said, speaking of Shroud Cosmetics and Beauty Bean and its freaking bats, I did buy that palette. Here's the palette on the screen right here. This palette, their pre-order went like hotcakes. They, all of the pre-order palettes that they had set aside for their pre-order got completely snatched up within a minute. And so I didn't get it right away. Um, but they opened the pre-order back up. Now, if you didn't get it either, don't freak out. Just go to Shroud. You can order it now. You just might have to wait a while to get it because this poor girl that owns Shroud Cosmetics has to make all these palettes herself. And that's a lot of work for one person. So if you want to get this palette and you weren't able to get it on the initial pre-order, it's available on pre-order again they open the pre-order indefinitely to make sure that everybody that wants a palette gets a palette which i think is pretty awesome of them so i did get this palette so we're not going to talk too much about that but go ahead and go to try cosmetics use the code beat bean and all caps that's b-e-a-u-t b-e-a-n beaut bean and use that all in caps you'll save 10 percent and you'll also give uh betty jean a little extra commission which is awesome so support her and get this palette um and be patient that's all I got to say about that. So anyway, we're going to move on now to um, this palette from Natasha Denona. This is called the Mini Zendo palette. So it's one of her mini palettes. It's going to be $25. It is available on the 10th of October. And I really do like the colors in it. It's kind of got those um, kind of cool colors. It's got a silvery green in there kind of reminds me of something that would look really good with the retro palette the mini retro like you can combine those two and you could really use them together that's just my personal opinion but this is cute I'm not going to get it I wonder when the mini Zendo larger version palette is going to come out I like Zendo I think it sounds cool you know kind of Zen that that might mean Zen who knows Zendo 
Hopefully it will be a $65 palette, and if the color story speaks to me, I might get it then, but this little mini palette is cute, but I'm gonna say no buy on that as well. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to BH Cosmetics. Okay, BH Cosmetics is releasing another palette. They're releasing two palettes, and these are their holiday palettes, and this one is called the Naughty Palette. This one on the top is the Naughty Palette, and it is 30 eyeshadow shades for $29. And then the Nice palette is a is a 16 color eyeshadow palette for $12. Now, I like both of these. They both look really, really pretty. Not gonna lie, um, because I like BH so much, I would be inclined to get them, but I'm just trying to be realistic and know that I do not need these. I just don't need them. Even though I really, really like the colors and even though I really, really like BH, it doesn't mean I need to get them. But if I was feeling like I wanted to drop some money on the BH site, you know, and fill an order and get something as a gift, I might pick these up, but I'm just gonna say no by for now. That's hard though, because <laughs> I love BH so much, but I'm just gonna try to stay strong. I really spent a lot of money last month. I've already bought the Beauty Bean palette this month, so it's my birthday month, which means I could probably, you know, stand to buy a few more things, but I'm throwing myself a birthday party, so I'm gonna be spending a lot of money on that. So let's just say no buy. But they're really, really pretty. You know, the, the larger palette is the same size, literally the same exact size as the Glam Light Ice Cream Dreams palette, which I just got. It's 30 shades, it's a lot of shades. So it's not the smallest palette in the world, but it's not the biggest palette either. But I'm really starting to look around and be really mindful of my uh, my looming lack of space problem because I really, really either need to get more storage or I need to give stuff away. So anyway, it's gonna be a no-buy for me on both of those palettes. So the next one I wanna talk about is this palette from a brand called Notoriously Morbid. Um, and it is the uh, dapper darking palette. Okay, this is a $45 palette. Um, the first thing that I noticed about this that irritated me like a lot was how much space is wasted. I mean, the shadows are really, really small, but there's so much outer like space around the shadows, around the outside. You could make me move the shadows closer together and then um, uh, move the shadows closer together and then you know make the palette a little bit smaller um this is this is a pretty color story but this is not something that really intrigues me that much um i don't know anything about this brand they're um a small brand obviously i've never heard of notoriously morbid but their palette is available now for 45 dollars. if this is something you're interested in i'm going to say no buy to this one so let's go on now this is a con confusing name of this brand um, I'm not exactly sure what the name of this brand is, but it's called Sigil Inspired Tammy Tanuka, or Sigil Inspired by Tammy Tanuka. I have no idea. This is a this brand is based not in the United States, so I'm not sure. But this is a really pretty palette. It is called the Lively Lavender Chinchilla Palette, um, and obviously it's a purple palette, and it's cool, cool tone purples. You know, um, really, really pretty. Um, uh, lavender shades obviously it's the lav lively lavender palette this is really really pretty it's $31 and it's available now um, but, but it will ship from overseas so it might take you a while to get it but it is pretty it's six colors um, and you can see some of the swatches you can see the swatches on the arm um, in the photo um, really really pretty but you know this is not something that I need so I'm gonna say no buy to this too um, but let's go on to the next one I've got a lot of palettes to talk about guys so we're just kind of speeding through these okay so the next one we're going to talk about is the black moon cosmetics urban myth palette um this is cool in you know the top portion it's probably the mirror has like looks like a flying saucer which you know mirrors and palettes really are not a deal break for me i don't need one in the palette i don't really ever use a mirror in the palette to put my makeup on um, i'm usually sitting at my desk um sometimes i'll need a mirror but nine times out of ten I'm gonna have a mirror in some format when I go traveling but this is um, it, it's obviously um, urban myth so you know UFO themed um, palette 
uh, urban legends, those kinds of things, which I think is really, really a cute color story. I like the color story of this. It looks like it's half matte, half, sh half shimmer. The bottom row looks to be mattes and the top row looks to be shimmers. Um, and it's pretty. I really do think it's pretty. Um, I don't know much about uh, Black Moon Cosmetics. I think Black Moon Cosmetics was the same one that did the Orb of Light. Are they the ones that did the Orb of Light palette? That one was really, really pretty, but I could be wrong about the brand, so correct me if I'm wrong. But this one is available on the 10th of October, and it's going to be $38, and it's vegan and cruelty-free. But I really think that it's a pretty palette, but I don't need it. I don't need it, and uh, so I'm going to say no buy to that. So I'm going to touch on the next one really quick because I talked about it in last week's video and it's from Emmy Cosmetics. Uh, remember I showed you guys the swatches of these, this, this palette? Well, it's actually two palettes and the palettes are called the Monet Jasper palettes and one palette is meant to be, there's supposed to be two separate palettes for two skin tones. Me personally, I would get both of them if I was going to get both of them. I love the colors. I love the, uh, you know, the oranges and the blues and the, you know, the kind of grayish greens in there, the yellow. I love the color story of this. Um, I, I I didn't know it was going to be two palettes though. Um, I would probably be most inclined to get the one with the deeper yellow shade versus the lighter yellow shade. Um, that's the one I would probably get if I was going to get one of the other of these. But um, they're definitely really, really pretty. They're $41 each. They are available on the, tw the 2nd of November. So that's when they're coming out. But these are pretty. What I like about the packaging of this is that it looks like you can pop the pans out. I love when pat. Well, I love when brands do that, where they have a little space where you can pop the shade out and you could rearrange it. All brands need to do that with their eyeshadow palettes, all of them, especially if they're going to have magnetic pans and they're going to have magnetic, you know. Um, packaging just do it with every single palette that you have just have that little lip where you can pull it out because then if you like certain shades and you don't want to take a whole palette you can just create your own palette it's really really genius I love the packaging I love that brands do this but not every brand does this I see indie brands do this a lot but I don't see regular brands do this like you know mainstream brands yeah love the packaging love the colors but I'm not interested right now but I but I do really think that they're very very pretty okay so let's go on to the next release from hip dot I didn't know anything about hip dot until I started doing these videos but let me tell you something hip dot is like ColourPop and BH they release something like every week and not mad about it not mad about it at all but I'm waiting for hip dot to release something that really really gets my attention because so far, everything that I've seen from Hip Dot is kind of a pass for me. Um, hold on just a second. I hear Delilah in the background, and I hope she's okay. So she's downstairs watching TV, but she's making some noise. So I got to go check on her. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. She's just downstairs watching YouTube, and she's getting real into it. And so she was jumping around and, and being, uh, being a kid, which is fine, but I was just a little worried. So I'm back. We're going to talk about the Hip Dot Tapatio palettes. Now, I love me some hot sauce. I like hot food, I like spicy food. So this was something that was like, ooh, it's Tapatio. And you know, it's the collaboration. And I thought to myself, I said, well, I do love Tapatio, but I don't love Tapatio enough to buy these palettes. And the only reason is, is because I know that I have these shades. I know that I have these shades elsewhere in my collection. It's not that I don't like it because it's got the Tapatio, you know, logo and stuff on the cover of the palettes which kind of kills me because I do like Tapatio. So anyway, these are $14 each. They are available on the 8th of October. So that's the day after I day, day after this video goes up. So um, they are really really cute and I do like Tapatio and I think that they're a fun fun idea and definitely fit the theme. They don't really have a red though. They have a lot of browns and yellows and and oranges but nothing red they need to have a red in there like a red like a fiery red to match tapatio to match that that pepper that red pepper anyway they got the habanero down but they they need like that red shade and i think it would be good good times but anyway okay so the next thing i want to talk about actually is really really pretty and really really cool so this is a release from lime crime and what I like about it is, is that the shades in these palettes are repeat shades from their Venus palettes, but they're palettes that were selected, like fan selected. So 
These are the um, Greatest Hits Bangers Palette and the Greatest Hits Classics Palette. Now the Bangers Palette is large, it's $58, and the Greatest Hits Palette is $38. So the large one has, I think, let me see, it looks like it has 18 shades, and then the small one has eight shades. I think, well, obviously for me, the larger one is a better value. And I do really, really like the color story of these. I think Lime Crime um, had kind of a bad reputation in the past, but they're not, you know, they have, they were a little problematic in the past, but now they're not as much anymore. And I, I've always wanted to try one of the Venus palettes, and I do like kind of the grunginess of both of these. Um, one of them is just more of a rosy tone, but it's kind of a grungy rose palette. But the larger one, I really do think is pretty. Um, it's, uh, you know, just kind of a good mixture of colors. Um, this is something that I would maybe low buy or kind of put on a wish list and think about again and revisit later. Um, but I'm guessing that these are probably limited edition, but they're really, really pretty. Um, especially I really enjoyed that larger one, but I'm gonna say no buy for now, potentially low buy goat later on, but anyway, there's that. Now, the next thing we're gonna talk about is we're gonna talk about Midas Cosmetics. I have not tried anything from Midas yet, but I am very intrigued to try something from Midas Cosmetics, but it's not gonna be these two palettes. These are the little mini pastel palettes. They're on the money with the mini, mini uh, palettes. Um, they are $16 each or $30 for the both of them. They are available now and they are pastel palettes. So they have ones for lighter skin tones and they have one for deeper skin tones, which I think is good because pastels can be really, you know, not too, too forgiving for people with deeper skin tones. Yeah, because they're light shades. Um, but I do like that they did two different ones, but still, I'm good on pastels. I, the, the past, the past, I'm good for pastels for the rest of all eternity because I have that one palette that has pastels in it and that's the Ice Cream Dreams palette. And I like that palette, but I'm not a huge fan of pastels. Pastels are not something that I would wear on a regular basis. That one day that I actually talked about the palette, I was wearing pastel eyeshadow look, completely out of my comfort zone. So I'm not gonna buy something that I know I wouldn't get tons of use out of. So, which makes you wonder why I bought the Glam Light palette, though I really do like it. Um, these little Midas palettes are not for me. So we're just gonna move on, and I think we've got only got a few more left. Okay, so the next one we're gonna talk about is this palette from Hip Dot. Now, Hip Dot has another release, okay? This, this little release kind of came into uh, the scene prior to the Top of T.O., but this is SpongeBob SquarePants, which I love. I love Spongebob. Spongebob is the greatest. Who's your favorite character from Spongebob? Mine is Squidward. I love Squidward. Squidward is great. No, I love Gary. Gary's my favorite character. Gary the Snail. But guys, this is pressed glitters. If, if it was shimmers, I might be on board with it. I might be on board with it if it was shimmers, but it's not. It's pressed glitters, so it is a no buy for me. Darn it, Spongebob. Spongebob pressed glitters. I guess it kind of makes sense because it seems kind of like fun and whatever, but I'm not interested in press glitters. It's just not my bag, it's not my cup of tea. So I'm gonna have to say a no buy on that. So the next thing I wanna talk about is something from K Lash, K Lashes and Cosmetics, um, which is more of a lash brand, I think, than a makeup brand, but they do do both. And they did a collaborate, collaboration palette with the Indie Eye, and I don't know anything about her, I don't know anything about this brand, but this is their collaboration palette. It's available now, and I don't know the price because I looked on their website and I couldn't find the price, and it wasn't listed on the, um, you know, on Indie Mood or Indie Makeup Spotlight when I when I saw it there. I does I don't have a price, but it does say that it is available now. So you probably um, can look up K Lashes and Cosmetics and go and find out how much it is because I, I I don't know how much it is, but it's pretty. I really like that it's. Um, it's, you know, kind of that murky, um, kind of a murky, grungy fall kind of palette. You look at the swatches, they're little coffins. So um, it's supposed to be kind of a grungy, gothy looking palette. And it's pretty, but it's not something that I need. So I'm gonna say no buy to that. So the last palette I'm gonna talk about is um, a palette from Dandelion. So this is, a, this is um, 
Dandelions Dandelions Co. is the is the um, Instagram handle, but it's Dandelion. I think is the the company's name. This is the Autumn Splendor bundle. So these come. This is another thing where I'm talking about the same as the Emmy Cosmetics. It's a bundle, and they give you a palette, and you could pop the shades in and out, which I'm all about. Uh, and I wish brands would do that. It's such a good idea. Um, and this actually is a really really beautiful color story. It kind of reminds me of, but not like 100% reminds me of the Good Sport palette. When I first saw that this, that's what I thought of. It's not not 100% a dupe or exact, but it gave me those kind of vibes. It gave me those kind of fall vibes. Um, didn't really have that like like very um, purpley shade in there. It had more of that brownish burgundy, but not like more purple leaning. Um, but it, it just kind of reminded me of that. So this is a beautiful palette. I really um, like the like the colors and I like the color story. It's forty five dollars, but there's only one problem with it. I don't know. I think I heard somewhere that from I think it was from Annette's Makeup Corner. And if you guys watch Annette's Makeup Corner, correct me if I'm wrong. You probably watch all of her videos like I do. She got a palette from this brand, and it was sent to her. And she hasn't used it yet because she got a extra single shadow with it, a complimentary shadow for buying the palette. And the, she just said the quality wasn't very good. So that was like a red flag to me. This looks to be all, um, it's not all sh it's not all mattes, but it looks to be more matte than shimmer. Might be some satiny shades in there too. So I'm not sure about the quality of these. The swatches look really nice. Um, it's not something that I'm super interested in. It kind of also reminds me of the Melt Gemini palette a little bit, but it's very pretty, but it's going to be a no buy for me as well. So, mm, 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 scoot back. This was a fairly interesting week in the no buy, low buy, or go buy sphere. Lots of palettes to talk about, but not a lot of things that I was interested in right now. A couple of these items I might consider down the road, but for now I'm just going to say no buy to everything. So what did you see in this video that you would no buy, low buy, or go buy? Pick, pick a category and let me know which ones those palettes fall into. I would love to know in the comment section. Be sure to do that. Also, if you like this video, please do be sure to give me a thumbs up. That helps me know that you liked it and that you want to see videos again like this in the future. And if you're new here and you'd like to subscribe, now's the time to do it. Just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you're informed of when I post future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye.